Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how I got these closed captioning, closed captions below here working uh, in OBS Studio. So basically you should be able to see my, uh, my window here, I've got it open already. I'm in the OBS Captions plugin and what you want to do is you go in here and go to releases and then you want to download the latest zip file for whatever release if you're using Macintosh, Linux, or Windows, okay? and then when you actually download it it's gonna give you a zip file and you go in there and you have to hit extract all and it pops out this file and it's a little DLL file you're gonna take that file okay and you're gonna go into your C drive and you're gonna go to program files alright and then you're gonna go to OBS studio it's very simple we're about halfway there okay and we're gonna go into OBS plugins and then we're just gonna paste it in here make sure your OBS studio is not open like mine is right now okay and then what you're gonna do is you're going to go into your OBS Studio. So I'm going to open it, and then you're going to notice there's this captions window over here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this out of the way for you guys here because it's a little bit distracting um, having both of these windows. So give me just one second here while I pause this. So once you get into here, though, you basically want to click on this little gear down here. It's a little gear. It opens up your settings, okay? and you're gonna make sure you check this checkbox at the top here to enable your captions and you're gonna hit save and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your sources over here okay and you're gonna add a text source and you're gonna call it captions and then when you get it you'll see it right here okay and you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna go to your properties alright and then inside of here you can change the gradient and the size of your font and you can change the alignment and all that good stuff okay but you want to go back over here after you're done creating that and you got to go to open captions and you'll see in here when you add text output you click this and click enabled and you click your text source and you whatever you named it over here you select that and then you'll start seeing your captions populating down here when you're talking as long as you have the right microphone connected and so basically when you're in here and you select your uh, your captions okay and you've got that all good to go um, you want to make sure that you also have uh, your actual you want to go back into here one last time and you want to make sure that your caption source is set to the proper microphone not the one on your camera unless you want that one or the one on your desktop but you have to make sure you have the right microphone selected if it's still not working that's pretty much it um, it should only take you a few minutes after you download it and drop it in that file you just gotta select a few of these um, you know settings and properly and then you have to adjust this window here but you can drag it down like I did and you can change the sizing of it and everything but I'm not gonna mess with it because I have it perfectly centered right now but anyways um, so yeah that's pretty much it and uh, I hope this is helpful for other people but where you wanna go is you wanna make sure you get the right plugin and it's from github and it's called the obs-captions-plugin I think they also have more of it on the obsproject.com that's where I got this from but I used a really good video. If you're having issues, it's by agent, and it's called Add Closed Captions to Your Live Stream. Because also, you want to make sure when you're actually in here and you're setting up these settings, you want to make sure that you've got it selected for both streams and local recordings, or else it'll only do it when you're streaming or recording. So I hope this video was helpful. It took a lot of time to get this setup going. Um, but I hope it was helpful, and I hope you all liked it. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.